Okay guys, welcome to another video. Today we got a special video, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> we're not I don't think we're really gonna be eating anything in this video. No. It's more of like a vlog kind of thing. Yeah, I know it's I know it's something you don't usually do, but Paul is doing me a huge favor today. <laughs> yeah, sometimes I do this sort of thing. Okay. But it's been a while. So here I am with Kenya. You Hi. all know Kenya. And we are checking out this place here. This and is... maybe Kenya can explain a bit yeah. more because she is uh you've been here many times oh yes uh, i've right? been here a lot yeah she's a regular here <laughs> i guess so please for the folks at home okay what do we be doing today all right and why are you dressed like that uh, what, what am i dressed like paul <laughs> like, yeah why are you... okay so uh, if you guys are following my instagram you've probably seen this sign before um this is koyodai koyodai kiso uma bokojo which is the koyodai kiso horse um, ranch in yamanashi they do trail rides and they offer some very basic lessons, but they're predominantly famous for yabusame, which is Japanese traditional mounted archery. So today you're actually going to be yes. doing that. So I'm, I'm going to try to get some good footage of Kenya yeah. riding a horse no and <laughs> shooting a bow. It's a, it's a Japanese style bow, right? Yes, it's Japanese style. So it's the uh, longer yeah. kudo it's kinda, about or is it? Yes, it Especially is the Kudo bow. The so Kudo bow? It's a very tall one, yeah. almost like two meters. I, my personal bow is like taller than me. It's like yeah. about up here. I did Kudo before, oh, not nice. not on a horse. Uh, yeah. But in <laughs> the town kudo. in the town I used to live, mm -hmm. every week I'd get together with I the didn't know that the old the old folks in the town, and it was the entertainment. I guess we go we go down to the range and we do our <laughs> Kudo stuff. I had no it's idea very. That's Mm, meticulous or yes. there are many steps and slow moving procedures and then finally get to shoot yes so, <laughs> and hopefully hit <laughs> yes. yeah so i've been practicing for six years and kudo is nice when you just want like it's a very zen sport yeah um kudo japanese archery japanese yeah. archery tra japanese traditional archery yes. yabusame is a little bit more action-packed <laughs> yep someone um, said hey let's do kudo on a horse on a horse yep difference between kudo and yabusame is kudo is a zen sport it's done for like mind body and yeah. spirit mm -hmm. yabusame is considered a budo which is a warrior sport in oh, a sense. so okay. and with the like just like any warrior sport karate judo um akido kendo i like yaido everything that ends with do well, well karate karate, <laughs> karate. <laughs> right karate um, <laughs> usually th those skills are meant to hurt people they're meant uh, as defense and that's okay. what they were originally taught as okay. though now they're so mostly we'd say like a martial art they're a martial art yeah okay so cool. yabusame is also a martial art and there's a lot of respect that comes along with it um you respect yourself as the person you respect your teacher and more importantly you have respect for the horses that you are riding can you explain a bit of your yeah. get up here? Maybe the folks at home want to see <laughs> what what does a Japanese I don't know I don't want to call you a cowboy or a cowgirl but <laughs> what what are you wearing Mountain here? Cuz you've got some those aren't cowboy boots. No, these are not cowboy boots. Yeah, they're like ninja shoes. They are called when I ordered them they were called Matsuri Tabi, but they're special yeah. shoes, split-toed shoes. Yep. Used for riding yabusame you could also use flat like just flat sold sneakers yeah these but, yeah. type of shoes are better are better suited for the riding yeah you also need special socks i assume yeah i'm wearing toe socks <laughs> okay yeah <laughs> um, and the pants are called hakama hakama these are training hakama okay. and this is a dogi so the whole outfit's called a dogi which is just practice uniform practice wear okay um you can all i also wear this for kudo cool yeah. So, all right, we're getting ready to go over and shoot here in a sec. So, yeah. hopefully I don't feel camera let's go, shy. Let's go check out some horses and let's yeah. get some great shots of Kenya being awesome. Yeah, it Yeah. 
So this is your horse for today, or? Yeah, I've actually been riding him for, uh, every time I come here, he's the horse I ride, mostly because he is on the bigger side. Okay, so he's excited to see you. He knows you, yeah, he's he familiar with you. He's okay. always asking me for food, which what? I do give. What's his name? Fuji Kaze. Fuji Kaze. Yes. Mount Wind of Fuji? Or? No, actually, Wisteria Wind. Wisteria Wind? Yeah. Okay. They're not, there's no point on no. these No. These are Kabuda type air. Well, this is the Kabuda, which is like the turn up head part. Okay. Of so the non lethal. Non lethal. It I could guess. still hurt, though. I mean, I it, bet it, it would. Probably yeah, for sure. Lethal. Okay, and you. Do you have a set number that you carry? Like three all the time? Usually or? three. Just okay. three. Those are the stirrups? Those are the metal stirrups, yeah. Okay. Um, I'm not sure what they were. I'm fairly sure they were made out of iron before because this, like, this is like Iron Age okay. Japan so they're just style pretty stirrups. Heavy. They're. Yeah, they're kind of There's heavy. no spurs and nope. cowboy boots kind of thing. Nope. That's okay. Just like, just like that. Interesting. Okay, so this is your bow you, yeah. you picked up. It, <laughs> yeah, it is pretty tall. <laughs> it's taller than me. But even yeah, if I put it for on the sure. Ground, it's taller than me. Right down to the ground. But that's typical. Mm-hmm. My bow for Kudo, this isn't, the, this isn't my personal bow. I'm just borrowing this one today. Um, my personal bow is actually quite taller than this. Usually the bow is tailor-made or you try to match the bow to the height of the shooter. What are the differences between drawing a Western string versus a Japanese string? So for Western archery, you're usually like what, using these fingers here? Right, to pull the... Yeah. Yeah. For Japanese archery, you're taking your whole thumb like here and just going over and pulling back. Okay, so you're you're gripping with your thumb. Yeah, you're gripping with your thumb, and that's it. <laughs> like this would probably feel so much better, but this so kind of hurts a little usually bit. Usually in Western archery, they have like a wrist guard. Yeah. But you don't need that in Japanese, right? Because you're pulling with your thumb, or is that something you would? You there's actually use? a guard called an eagle te okay, that, that arm, goes on the shoulder. On that arm, yeah. yeah, I see. And they're usually okay. really pretty and made out of like kimono fabric. They're really gorgeous. Okay. Um, but this one, you just have a thumb. I just have a thumb, thumb guard. Yeah. Glove? Usually, I uh, use tape. Like tape. Yeah, I use them. Really. <laughs> but today, I'm since I'm keto, I'm have my keto stuff. I decided to use this. Okay. So where? So where would the arrow? The arrow rest? would be here. Actually, I can just show you as long as I don't. Okay. Don't shoot anyone. Don't shoot anybody. Yeah. So. Arrow okay. goes here, and you just take it and pull back. I'm not going to do a full draw here. I see. So your thumb is underneath the arrow. Yes. And it's got a little notch to hold it there. Yeah. Okay. After a while, my thumb is probably going to hurt. So we'll see if I need to use tape and this. <laughs> okay. This is called a mokuba. Mokuba? Yep, like wooden horse. Okay, so you would practice sitting yeah, on that? Yeah, you would or? put a saddle on it and practice like the stance and everything. Okay. You would put a bridle and everything on it and shoot off of it. What well, You'd have to place it in front of the target though. You'd practice firing from a horse position without actually having a horse. Yeah, in case there aren't any horses available yeah, or maybe or you're if just you're, a noob. You're like, you're really <laughs> nervous about riding so they'll put yeah. you on the Mokuba. Okay. Me, I was just like, no, nah, let's go. Oh, <laughs> if really? I fall, I fall. Uh, okay. <laughs> Thankfully, I didn't. Knock on, knock on wood. <laughs> Literally. Okay, so you, you're gonna practice. This is just a short. Yeah. This little is, practice spot. Yeah. So okay. you want to get your ground technique good before you start shooting off of a horse. So your foundation's always on the ground before you ever get on a horse. <laughs> Yeah. Even if you're, even when the foundation is shaken up because you're on a horse. You got to know two skills, riding and shooting, right? So. Yeah. And they, they teach complete beginners here. You don't have to know anything about Yabusame or horse riding. But I've had an interest in both for a while um, and archery. So I figured it was time to combine them both. <laughs> okay. Show us how it's done. All right. First. I mean, 
Okay, so yeah, the stance is important? The stance, yeah. You can shoot straight at first just to get used to the bow, but after a while you want to like get into position. And yeah, I'll just show you. Okay, and we're, I don't know, yep. 15 feet away? We're not very far from the Yeah, target. we're not. It's just more about the technique, right? Yeah. And that's it. Okay. So it punched through even though it had a big knob on the end. Yeah, so that, it could hurt a person. It could hurt, yeah. It could hurt a person. What I'm going to do is go back a little bit and shoot behind the target so I don't murder that box. <laughs> okay. Okay, good stuff. I killed it. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> if you walk past, that's okay. Because you can turn. Okay, so it... You're sort of mimicking as a horse goes by kind of thing? Yeah. Except you're your own horse? Yes. And you're not allowed, you're not supposed to look as you're knocking. Oh, really? Yeah, because when you're riding the horse, you're supposed to be looking ahead. Okay. So everything you're really just feeling, like even when you pull out the arrow, you have to feel which one. You also have to feel with your finger where the knock is. Okay. Turn it, get it on the string, and then actually do it. All while you're riding. Yes. On a, on a bumpy, bumpy. The, well, I guess you, you. So the riding style is really interesting because you don't bump around if you do it correctly. You sort of stand up and you're the kind of standing up. Uh, it's okay. called tachi skaishi, which is like invisible standing. Okay, I do it on my bicycle sometimes. It's pretty much the same thing. Like if yeah. you've ever stood on your bicycle to like avoid shock Bottle absorption, or, yeah. <laughs> yeah. or if anybody's an equestrian out there, um, two point seat when jumping. You know how like you're off the saddle and you're kind of forward right your balance is like pretty center on the horse it's the same thing with japanese style riding but you're more up and your center of balance is a little bit lower in the saddle it's hard yeah <laughs> it's really hard i don't know how well it'll come through with hakama but usually with pants on you can see like how the leg is angled and everything um Definitely check it out. You can actually YouTube this place. It doesn't have a channel, but a lot of people come here. Okay. Yeah. This is, we're kind of a stone's throw away from Mount Fuji here. Yeah, Mount just, Fuji is like... We're just not near Aokigahara, basically. Yep. Um, so pretty much that is The ice Fuji. cave, the, the yeah. wind cave, I think it's yeah. famous around here. But yeah, down near the Fuji area. Yeah, it's a lot of it's, tourists come here. A yeah. lot of professional yabusame riders come here they actually send out a lot of horses all over japan for yabusame ceremonies oh really this place has a horse gifted to them from new zealand it's a oh, white really? horse with blue eyes it's very beautiful for yabusame ceremonies the white horse in japan is like a sacred animal it's like okay. a god sort it's like of a rare it's, it's like considered very Pegasus rare of japan kind yeah of? or unicorn i guess is the word I'm looking yeah for. <laughs> it's a big deal when you see a white horse in any like temple or um, shrine oh, okay there's a Yabusame shrine, like a whole, like a shrine just dedicated to Yabusame here in Yamanashi. Yeah, it's close to Chureto, the tower. Oh, okay. It's the famous pagoda. The famous five tier pagoda, yeah. pagoda, yeah. I think it's the Yabusame Asuma shrine or Zangen shrine. Okay. And they have a white horse on premise that they use for all their Yabusame ceremonies. Okay. And every year they have a Yabusame festival, but it's been canceled these last two years yeah, for it's reasons. Too bad. He's all dressed up. He is. I've never ridden him in um, regalia before, so this is this is a big first for me. 
Um, the senseis are very kind. They know I'm leaving and they're making this very special for me. They're take, they've taken the time out of their day just to do this. And Excellent. I'm just so happy and so grateful and that I can do it with Fujikaze. Yeah. I'm just so happy. Nice. Okay. Wow. Oh. That's pretty cool. Very cool. <laughs> or the orange matches your yeah. hat your hat. Nice. Your horse. So the eagle is the protection for your arm. I'm okay. tall, so this is shorter on me, but uh, I plan on making one when I get back to America. I've got the pattern and everything. So yeah. Back in the corner. Okay. 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 He is ready for his carrots. He's he done. <laughs> yeah. Give me some carrots. All right, I'm going to take it off. I promise. I promise. I promise. All right, guys. That's Fuji, Kaze, and I's adventure, our story together. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'll be going back to America for a while. I don't think I'll get a chance to meet him again for maybe another, I don't know, years. Oh really? Yeah. He might be back. You're gonna miss him. I'm gonna miss him a lot. I had a lot of fun adventures with him. <laughs> Great. They had a lot of furs, so like I cantered like sort of like a gallop on him first. Shot an arrow off of him. He's a good boy. And I gotta get his carrots ready, so hold on, let me clean him up and I'll get okay. his carrots. <laughs> 
口ゆすいだだけ<笑>口ゆすいだだけらしい手近で飲むよね今回飲みましょうかあらいらないの、えー、<笑>あれいらないのお前あいらない、えー、珍しい<笑>でも今日は結構飲Do this before every ride and after every ride. He's a happy boy. Yeah. Them carrots. <laughs> He gives them to the other. <laughs> so greedy. His buddy is getting jealous. Yeah. The carrot ladies here, guys. <laughs> oh, see? <laughs> Look at him. Where are you going with my carrots? <laughs> My carrots, my carrots. <laughs> carrots. We <laughs> give some the golden boy over there. This is how they beg for carrots. Excellent. Okay, so thank you to Kenya for showing us around the the archery, the horse archery center. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> it is yeah. one of the major. Like if if you hear Yabusame in Japan, usually Koyo dies. One of the first, um, one of the few um, ranches that come up because they. Okay, teach it's it. pretty well known. I yeah. guess. Yeah, it was pretty awesome. Unfortunately, it's your last day here, so. Yeah. Yep. But I'm sure the horses will miss you. And at the start of the video, I lied. I said there wouldn't be any food, and you fed some carrots to the horses. There so. was there was some critical eats in this yep. video today. Yep. And I think they approved. They gave it uh, top marks for those carrots. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I just want to say thanks to Kenya for showing us around. Thanks to you guys for watching. Um, if you have any questions, maybe leave them down below. Yeah. I, I don't know a lot about it, but maybe... Yeah, you can shoot me a message on uh, Instagram. Yep. Go over to Instagram. You want to see some awesome photos from today as well. Um, I'll put links to that down below. And I guess that's it. Please subscribe to the channel if you're yeah. new here. And don't forget to thumb up this video. And also ring the dinner bell so you don't miss the next video. And we'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.